Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the top five players who I think could break their way into Stephen Kenny's plans in March. Firstly, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com and use the code IFFTV for 20% off and free shipping. Just released the Lawnmower 3.0, which comes with an LED light and is waterproof, so it allows you to get those finer edges. So therefore you're not cutting yourself or nicking yourself, which we all know if we've done it before, it can happen and it is very painful. For, so this allows you to trim in peace and not worry about getting cut or leaving hairs anywhere. You can use it in the shower and so on. Head over to manscaped.com. They also have other products like deodorant, aftershaves, uh, weed whacker for nose hair and ear hair and so on. So head over, it's not just for trimming your balls there is other aspects in which you can use this product or their products head over to manscaped.com use the code ifftv for 20 percent off and uh, let us know what you think of it okay let's get into it top five players number five josh cullen at andelect josh cullen is the type of player that we are lacking at the moment james mccarthy's out injured connor heron's not playing and uh, other than that, you're kind of looking around going, who could come in and potentially do that position and do it well. Every time Josh Cullen step up to the plate to play for Ireland, he's done really, really well in that position. And I feel as though he is the next one in line to be that player, the pivot in midfield, but also who can link up the play. He's, you know, he's got that energy about me and get about the pitch. He's doing really well at Anderlecht. He left West Ham for first team football to obviously propel his international career. He's doing well at the moment. We all kind of wanted to see him go somewhere and see how he would do. I know Belgium isn't somewhere we can always watch what he's doing, but he seems to be getting a lot of first team action. And I think if he's playing, he obviously got into the squad through COVID in the end. So it'd be interesting to see if Stephen Kenny will opt for him or will it be Harry Arthur. So I think if I was choosing it now, I would go with Josh Cullen. I think he could definitely force his way into that squad come March. At number four, it's Nathan Cause at Stoke City. Another player who I think has been playing really, really well recently, adding goals to his game as well. He's a real threat from set pieces, corners and so on. Just the sheer size of him. I think if he was to come in, I think it would be a seamless fit. He's also played with the likes of Darrow O'Shea and James McLean. So he'd be used to kind of the players that he'd be probably alongside or within the squad with. So I don't think he'd have any issues in terms of settling into the squad. I think if he keeps up his performances, there's absolutely no doubt that he could get into this team and maybe be a long-term replacement for Shane Duffy because he kind of carries a lot of the same attributes, except he can play probably better out from the back as well if needs be. But he seems to have all the attributes to be a top, top defender. Not long ago, Manchester United were linked. We're trying to take him from Stoke. So I think it goes to show this guy could be a star in the making but it will obviously depend on how his development continues. He would be best off staying at Stoke, at least at the end of the season, and then see what happens. But if he could make, I think he could force his way into Stephen Kenny's plans. Definitely he's worked with Stephen Kenny before as well. So I think we're kind of blessed at the moment with a lot of defenders and, you know, defensive midfielders, defenders and goalkeepers, albeit we need players up the other end. But I think at the moment, Nathan Collins is definitely someone who can force his way into the squad come March. Number three is Jack Byrne. At the moment, without a club, looks destined for Applewell and Nicosia to link up with Mick McCarthy. Mick McCarthy has obviously been to a lot of Shamrock Rovers games while he was manager of the Republic of Ireland national team. He gave Jack his debut as well. I think if Jack is to go there and all going well, Mick McCarthy, I think, would get the best out of him and show him that bit of love and nurture that I suppose he needs and those luxury players that all need that you need someone who's going to tell you that you're absolutely amazing even if you may not have played amazing for the game so I think Mick is the perfect person for that he's a real people person and I think he will get the best out of Jack if he's given the time to work with him I know Applewell are struggling at the moment in the league but I think if Jack can go in there create a few goals get a few goals you know up his goals and assists tally and then I think come March if all is going well with him I think he has to be well very close to being in a starting 11 for the team in the Serbia game or if not then the other games after that but I definitely think he needs to hit the ground running in Apple well and I think then if he is hitting the ground running there I think he has to be right there at the top of Stephen Kenny's list of players who have to come in, creative players who have to come in, because other than Robbie Brady, he's probably our next best creative player. 
So I think if he goes somewhere like Apple Well, where he can test himself against players of a higher standard consistently, and I mean that because of the amount of money that's gone into that league and stuff like that. So there would be naturally better quality players in that. So it, it would be a good test for Jack. See how he gets on. And then hopefully he can force his way into the team in March. At number two, Cuivy and Kelleher at Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp has shown trust in him recently enough. And obviously when Alisson was injured, he brought in Cuivy and Kelleher as, as number two ahead of Adrian. And has kept him as his number two now. And it seems as though if anything happens to Alison Becker, that Jurgen Klopp feels as though he can call upon Keller to come in and do a job for him and do it really well, which he did in the go- those games that he played. And it seems as though when Klopp needs someone who, I suppose, plays with the ball at his feet as a keeper, he believes Cuevin Keller is better than Adrian and uh, showed that in the game against Ajax and obviously Wolves as well. So as well as being a good goalkeeper he's also good with his feet and something like that. that might be something that Stephen Kenny could be looking at and the fact that he handled the pressure of playing for Liverpool so well especially in those games where it was games where the Liverpool fans I think as well didn't even know if they could trust him to come in and do that sort of job but he came in and he done it and he done it really well so hats off to him and I think if Stephen Kenny needs to call a Paul Quivine in March I definitely think he can and we were looking at that a couple of months ago I don't think you would have said the same. You you would have been wondering if Darren Randolph gets injured or suspended or anything like that, have we got someone who could come in and do well? And the answer is yes, we do now. And we have Cuevin Kelleher, who I think would definitely could come in and do well. If anything happens to Alisson, he'll be the one that comes in. So he could be playing regularly by the time March comes. So that'll be an interesting one. At number one, Jason Knight. I know he's played in Stevens Kenny's squad before but that was through injuries and covid and so on but i think now he's playing really good week in week out for derby county scoring goals but he's also having really good performances as well and i think you're looking at jason knight as probably that one who we need now to start being the one that pops up and scores the goals pops up in those positions but we also need players to be able to play the ball into those positions so he can finish them off but i think his debut at the Aviva Stadium was fantastic, his first start. I think he really showed what he could do then. I think he shows exactly what we are lacking in that department. So I think with the way the midfield is at the moment, a lot, a lot of our players are starting. Hendrick, Malumbi, Howrahan, all not starting. McCarthy, none of them are starting. So I think Jason Ice could definitely, if he keeps up his performance, there's a lot of talk of him going to another club in January, which could be interesting as well. But I think the way he's going, I think he'll definitely force his way into the squad and possibly the start in 11, which I don't think many people would question. A lot of people call them the fans player of the year for 2020. So, yeah, I think those five players could definitely force their way into Stephen Kenny's plans in March. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to check out the link in the description. Use the code IFFTV for 20% off plus free shipping as well. I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching and take care.